My water. There we go. We're live on Facebook. Welcome, everyone. Hey, Lions and Lionesses. Crystal here, co founder at Lionheart Strength, where you get two for one coaches with their programs. Hubby, Coach Lucas, is a rock star around here. So make sure you're taking all the knowledge that Coach Lucas drops daily, okay? And I am so excited to have you guys here tonight. When was the last time you took a good look at your hormones? How about when was the last time you got? blood work done for them? When did you last stop and take a step back to think about how your actions affect your hormones? Tonight, I'm going to teach you how your hormones, hormones made you fat, but it's a simple fix, okay? Hey, Sharon. So stick around everyone till the end because one of you here tonight is winning our Tuesday weekly prize, right? So make sure you stick around till the end. But we didn't always coach you online, right? I wish I followed my passion sooner. I left that nine to five dream job, so to speak, uh, because it wasn't the right situation for me. So I started to reflect on what makes me truly happy. And I recommend all of you do the same. And it came down to where's my happy place? My answer has always been the gym. But what really makes me happy is helping others and seeing them achieve their goals and seeing them succeed. So I started coaching people for free on the side, but I also needed to make some money because I didn't have a job anymore, right? So why not take my passion and turn it, yes, into my career? Daily people would recognize me from Instagram telling me how similar our stories have been over the last few years. But you're all here, why? So you've tried diet after diet after diet, right? never able to sustainably lose the fat and keep it off, right? You start on your new plan for a couple of weeks with good momentum too, right? And then after a couple of weeks, it doesn't feel as sustainable anymore, right? You just add in more and more of the comfort foods. You skip more and more of the workouts. And then what happens? The next step is usually you stop looking at yourself in the mirror, right? Stop looking at your reflection. Why? Because for the most part, we're ashamed of who we've become with no clear path to becoming who you want to be, right? And look, I've experienced this so many times as a coach with all my clients and with myself, okay? I've been there. Don't forget my story. I still remember 240 plus pound crystal, right? Crying in the dressing room because nothing ever fit. Am I right? Nothing. Always between sizes or having to go up and up sides every time. I was even wearing my husband's shirts instead of admitting that I should have been shopping in either the plus size section or at a plus size store. But there's always that like fear, right? When you're trying on jeans or a bathing suit, nothing ever fit. So you didn't even want to, right? And you're just left so upset every time from the fitting room. How about the anxiety? How about being invited to a wedding where I knew the clothing would never fit and the ridicule from family who defined me as being overweight like it was the only important fact about me. But no longer feeling that connection with hubby anymore, that honestly would almost completely broke me. I was lost. I had no desire to participate in life. I was just out of control. And today, it's hard for me to even say, but I, I would be well over 400 pounds today if I didn't decide I was worth it. If I didn't make the necessary changes. If I didn't want to set the right example. Okay. And it scares me. If I didn't do anything seven years ago, where would I've ended up, right? All those what if moments. I'm sure you've all thought about that. So think about that. Five years from now, if you're on the same path you're on currently. For most of you here tonight, it's not pretty and it's not a happy place, right? I didn't gain 120 pounds overnight, but what do I like to say? I sure as shit thought it would come off overnight. And boy, oh boy, was I wrong, right? Because five years of trying every way to shred it fast, every year of the holidays, I'd still gain 30 pounds. Why? Because I developed terrible habits and had severe metabolic damage. It was a never-ending cycle. But happier times, right? Look at me now. 
in my sixth year, something clicked. I took everything I knew about health and fitness. And I developed my metabolic fire protocol and using myself and hubby to prove it. He shred 100 pounds, I shred 120 and kept it off. In that sixth year alone, I shred 62 pounds of my 120 pound weight loss because I'd found the secrets to a healthy, sustainable, you guessed it, lifestyle. That's why I developed this system for all of you because I don't want you to have to rely on diet after diet after diet anymore, right? You are in control. You have the power with it, right? That's all you. That you can be healthy and love your life and that you don't have to be overweight for forever. You can all stop listening to the bullshit gurus you got coming at you left, right, and center, right? They're telling you how it's fast and easy because we're all here because we've lost all the weight and it's super easy. I mean, it only took us weeks, right? That's what they promised. We all know that's bullshit, right? I'm here to give you the truth you deserve and tell you how and teach you how to keep it off for forever. So stop. It's time to stop listening to them, okay? And my metabolic fire protocol is about speeding up and fixing broken metabolisms like I had to do with myself. So that way we can ensure we can accelerate your fat loss, okay? But we only use the healthy methods and learning how to actually sustain it. It's not about eliminating food groups, okay? Or taking the next bad pill, or I like to call them potions on the market, right? It's about doing the least amount of work to elicit the most amount of change. And we got four phases here at Lion Art Strength. Number one, fuel the fire. You're adding fuel to the fire to set you up for a healthy and successful fat loss. Ignite the fire. This is where we're melting that fat away, okay? Refuel the fire, adding more fire to that fuel. Do not burn, do not let that fire burn out, right? And number four, end flame. Burst through the fire with the body you've been dreaming of. But don't forget to stick around till the end to see who's attending tonight because one of you attending is going to get a prize, right? So everyone, make sure you drop me a hi or an emoji or something here so I know who's here tonight, who's participating to see who wants this prize, right? Whoever's participating, you're getting that prize, right? Oh, love this. Doing some walking and cooking while listening. Love it. Multitasking. Awesome. So tonight we're talking about your hormones, right? So yes. Your hormones made you fat, but it is a simple fix. And that's exactly what we'll get into tonight. Hey, Janae, welcome. Woohoo, prizes. Yeah, you got a lot there. Awesome. So, yes, it is actually your hormones, okay? But it's probably not what you think. The most frustrating feeling in the world is doing a whole bunch of things right, yet, not making the progress you want, right? It's demoralizing. And that's typically when you start to entertain the thoughts of why even bother? F this, right? That's the way that we start to think. And in these moments, it's easy to feel like something is fundamentally wrong with you. And I know because that was me. I used to think that I just couldn't be helped for whatever reason. I was going to stay over 240 pounds for life. That was going to be me. And I said that, yes, it has to be my hormones, right? Here's the reality. It actually is your hormones, but not the way you think. And that's what we teach you here every week, that the answer is easier than you think, but to start thinking differently, right? So look, it would be foolish to ignore the role that hormones play in sustainable fat loss, okay? The issue is that most people actually just do just that. They ignore the, uh, sorry, they ignore the impact that trying to lose the fat has on their hormones. So you see, restricting calories or eliminating entire food groups like carbs or going very low on fat you are compromising your hormonal state. You are, okay? Let me repeat. By restricting calories or eliminating entire food groups like carbs or going very low fat, you are compromising your hormonal state. Not only that, but you're 
creating a, I call it like a sponge-like environment for your body to pack on fat when you inevitably can't restrict anymore. So going very low calorie or depriving yourself will come at a cost. And I got a question for all of you. Is that a cost you're willing to pay? How much are you willing to pay? Are you willing to pay with a slower metabolism? How about paying with a low thyroid? What if we also add in a lot of, that a lot of these go hand in hand, right? So we'll be paying the cost in a few different ways now. So how about depressed immune system, okay? How about irregular cortisol, insulin resistance, or one that we hear weekly, how about low sex hormones, right? How about increased hunger hormones? You know, just to name a few of them, okay? So then you add on the restrict and binge cycles that likely ensue, and you've got a perfect storm for gaining weight, right? The good news is the situation is not as dire as you may think. So let's look on the bright side here, okay? We're gonna help you out. You are not broken, okay? You're not a hormonal anomaly. At least, most likely you're not, okay? And you don't need to be fixed, okay? You don't need a whole lot of supplements or hormonal reset, okay? Please do not buy any subs or detoxes or any resets, okay? You simply need to stop doing the thing that is causing the issue, right? And like I said, sounds easier than it may appear, right? You need to stop doing the thing that is causing the issue. Sounds pretty simple, right? Remember, that's the same logic that we use with weight loss. Well, it took me almost five years to learn that lesson. So maybe it's simple in theory, but not in application, okay? And I'll give you that. The bottom line is you can't keep restricting yourself and chronically under eating if you want to be healthy, fit, and actually have a life. If you've been restricting for long enough, you may have some hormonal issues to consider. For example, we have a lot of clients with low, low thyroid, and it's still low from their years of chronic dieting. However, it doesn't mean you can't make progress, right? It means you really can't restrict or overstress your body. You can still lose fat. You can still remain lean. You can still enjoy plenty of flexibility. And no, I don't need to go super low cal or eliminate carbs or go crazy low fat or stop eating sugar or anything extreme, right? I just need to not under eat all the time. Then when I wanna get leaner, my body is primed to lose fat. And I continue to send the, uh, I like to call it like the safety signal to my body with days or weeks at maintenance. So essentially I have to follow the exact same process that we put our clients through. Go figure, right? Mind blowing. So we practice what we preach, go figure. So that starts with metabolic priming, which is eating enough calories so your body feels safe and letting go of the unwanted fat, okay? That body fat. The stress signal that occurs from under eating. Um, oh, kitty. So the stress signal that occurs from always under eating is what causes hormonal issues in the first place, okay? So let's address the root cause and stop doing that. Same thing like when you talk to a doctor. I don't want just meds to get rid of something. I wanna find the root cause. And that's what we need to do on our journey for every stage, okay? And our clients are always amazed at how eating more is actually what helps them feel better, right? They stay more consistent, break through those plateaus after years of struggling, and honestly, most of our clients admit to dieting for more than 10 
years in a row without diet breaks, okay? So then we have to consider the right balance of ratios for macros based on your goals in your training, okay? So this helps with performance and recovery, which are key in changing your body composition. It allows us to specifically target body fat and maintain muscle or build muscle if that's your goal, okay? So the key to stress uh, reduction and mood stability, I like that one, is eating the right foods for your body, okay? So this means eating whole foods without eliminating your favorite foods. I like to call them personally mental health foods, okay? We need this in order to not restrict. Otherwise, that binge restrict cycle will repeat. So finding the right balance is typically around 80-20, okay? 80% of whole foods, 20% the fun mental health foods, okay? And our clients often comment that this helps them stay more consistent with less effort. So once again, their hormones stay happy and healthy and their bodies respond better. Win-win, wouldn't you say, right? We also make sure they have enough freedom and flexibility to make this a true lifestyle approach, right? And that's why we get messages daily from our clients who are able to go on vacations, date nights, social events, everything in between, right? And still make progress. Like Michelle, taking off, working out and tracking her food all together in Mexico, right? Or David, tracking all of it on vacation, eating out for every single meal without working out and came home two pounds lighter, right? They are always blown away, mind blown, our clients. We love to see it, but it's uh, the norm for us to see this, right? And lastly, we tie it all together by monitoring daily stressors, okay? And your habits that all contribute to your sustainable fat loss. This allows us to know exactly what's working and what needs to be adjusted for our clients, okay? That way they can reach their goals while maintaining hormonal health. But we work week to week, okay? There's no, let's leave this for four to six weeks kind of thing, okay? We monitor how you feel day to day and make adjustments as often as needed. So this is why our typically our clients average between 20 and 30 pounds of fat loss while completely repairing their relationship with food, right? And never feeling the need to restrict or deprive themselves ever again in phase one, working on your metabolism. Yes, that's what I said. Typically our clients lose 20 to 30 pounds in phase one, working on your metabolism. The great news, that means 20 to 30 pounds weight loss before we go into the accelerated fat loss stage, right? It's what makes the metabolic fire protocol, our signature six month one-on-one -on -one coaching program, so effective for individuals, okay? So while looking into your hormones this way, that is the simple fix. And who's ready for your favorite time of the night? What's everyone's favorite time of the night here? I believe it's time for some free shit. Am I right? Who here is up for some free prizes? Absolutely. Hello. Thank you. Yes. See you know, oh, yes. And a champion. Yes, you are. Because we have learned how to do it with the info given. Absolutely. Love this. Yes. Prizes. Okay. Everyone's asking for some prizes. You got it. Okay. Let's see. I have a bunch of stuff to announce. Let's see. Where should I start? Okay. So I was going to ask you to drop me some fire emoji to see, you know, if you're really ready for some prizes. But Sharon beat me to it. She is on fire right now, okay? So let's start with Free Shit Friday from last week. Let me refresh the page just so I can find out here. Okay. So Free Shit Friday from last week. We challenged all of you to bring in more accountability buddies for everyone for support. And whoever brought us the most key members would win 15 
cash this weekend, okay? $15. We asked you to bring two people in. The first person that brought two people in to help them with their journey and the support they need won $15 cash. Did you participate? Who do you think put the most effort into finding us key members for our community? Anyone out there watching people? How about some of the people here tonight? Have all of you participated? Have all of you invited people into the group, right? Well, unfortunately, we sadly didn't even have enough participation for this free shit Friday. The first person to bring in two accountability buddies from last Friday to right now would have won $15 right now, cash in your pocket. But sadly, no one won this round, okay? So I'm gonna put it on again for whoever's watching this or the replay. This Friday, we're also going to do another $15 cash over the weekend. So make sure everyone is looking to invite your friends to get in more accountability buddies for you on your journey, right? It's a lot easier when we have friends there. So you heard it first. We're also going to do another one. But not only are we just doing $15 cash, it will start again next Friday. We also have our $100 cash prize going on as well, right? And what did I do? I also sweetened that deal. I said a free month for any clients or if you come on board and become a client or when we hit 400 key members, whoever brings in the most, right? So who's interested in that $100 cash for bringing your friends in to help them for free, right? Who's more interested in the free month of coaching? Hmm? Where is this? Where's the love going, right? We'll keep giving out prizes here. So let's see those numbers and you'll see that cash flying out. How's that sound, okay? I'm gonna give you an update on the contest for that $100 cash for now. Um, and I believe this update should be, it looks like it's still valid from two hours ago. Oh, let's see, let's see. Sadly, yes, I did one join because he had too many notifications. We can teach him how to turn off notifications. <laughs> so update on the contest so far for the $100 cash, okay? And first, we have Sharon with 11 accepted, two pending, okay? These were our numbers as of two hours ago. Sherry, three accepted, six pending. Sherry could get up there really fast, right? Shannon, two accepted, three pending. And Stephanie, two accepted, three pending, okay? So, uh, Steph, if you're watching the replay, because I know usually lately even watching the replay. Oh, see, there you are right there. I'm not even close enough. Yeah, maybe. Steph, don't forget, your man still hasn't even accepted his invite into the group. <laughs> so I think you get that one, right? But uh, remember uh, to remind your friends too, right? Like Shannon, make sure to remind your friends, okay? We reached out to your girl, Christy, that you invited yourself in, and she blocked me when I said that you invited her. I don't know why that needed to be blocked, but you might want to talk to her about that because you invited her in. Um, but I have a way that you guys can actually get in a lot more people, okay? I have two little tips and I have a feeling you're all going to use it this weekend, right? To see how much cash I can give all of you, right? On top of that $100. So if you post on your Facebook wall, about it a lot will reach out to you okay if you post about it in the groups you're in i'm not gonna lie someone could crush this contest by posting about this inside other groups that you're in okay whether that's a local let's say walking facebook group or the areas you like to hang out in facebook groups is where your friends will see your post right helping them out for the contest so the first person to actually use this route, if I can be honest, basically guarantees their win, right? So if only one person uses this, you've already guaranteed your win. You will get these numbers pretty fast, let me tell you, just by going into the groups, okay? And talking about your experience. The first person to use this pretty much guarantees that win, right? Massive hint right there. I am posting all the time on Facebook page. Yes, you are sharing, which is probably why your numbers are up so high, right? If girl, you start going onto other group pages, like places you like to shop even, right? Like what about Aldi, Target, Costco, pages like that, or local area ones. If you start posting them on those, that's the ones gonna give you kind of an unfair advantage. But now everyone knows the unfair advantage, right? So don't forget last week, we also did a seven day plank challenge that Louise 
one for being the most consistent. We shipped her a book about sleep, which she's been working on. So we made the, we made the gift very tailored to her and a dash hound coloring book for that mental health stress relief, right? I can't wait to see you use these girl. You are crushing it in your fat loss program. Love it. So who here is coming next Tuesday, May 17th at 5 p.m. Yes, 5 p.m. instead of 6 p.m. May 17th for drum roll. I wonder if you guys can even hear that. Drum roll. On the 17th, I'm going to be teaching you the three steps to summer abs. Come back next Tuesday, 5 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time, for the secret sauce that we are going to spill, okay? And now the moment you've all been waiting for, right? Who's ready to win a prize right now, right? There's a few of you commenting, a bunch. Ah, oh, man. I may have to pull in Lucas, Coach Lucas, and get him to pick a winner. There's uh, quite a few of you here commenting away, right? I want to see some fire emojis. Show me that you're bringing the heat, right? All the lions and lionesses here tonight. Let's see that heat tonight, okay? <laughs> I will make it depends on work. Of course, Steph. Just like the replays are always there for you, girl. Me, yeah, Sharon's ready for sure. It's not just you. Got to be shameless about it. <laughs> oh, I get all the emojis, the fire truck. Oh, Janae's on fire too. Holy Sharon, we're getting some competition around here, I think, for this prize. I don't know. Let's go. Okay, Coach Lucas, do me a favor. We have three people right now on fire looking to help support everyone in our group, right? They are here tonight actively participating. Coach Lucas. Who you think deserves the prize tonight based on their participation inside the chat? I want you to type one of their three names. Let's go. Let's find out who the winner is. I wish I could see them typing. Oh, let's go. Who's the winner going to be? Janae, congratulations. You are our weekly Tuesday night winner. Thank you for participating tonight and being present and active here tonight. We love all of you. We will definitely get you your prize out tomorrow because I'm going to go to bed early tonight as always. Congrats again. I love when everyone's here. Yes. Oh, and everyone's congratulations. Yes. You all warm my heart. Thank you so much. And yes, it is seriously that easy to win a prize on Tuesday nights. Okay. Be engaged for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Win some free shit right? I love to give all this to all of you, right? Why? Because you are such a powerful community. And thank you for being you. Okay. And have a great night, everyone. And all clients on this call, I am so excited to get your check-ins in the morning. This Friday, I'm going to do cash again, instead of gift cards. Okay. So stay tuned. Have a great night all and we'll see you in the morning. Bye.